Move in a little bit so that little guy can get a police to sit. There you go. How are you, girls and boys? It's always nice to see you. Are you awake? Good, good. Oh, one more. There you go. Um, we're going to talk about the symbols of Christmas. But as we were listening to the readings from the Old Testament, the Word of God was spoken thousands and thousands of years ago. And that's a long time. And one of the prophets said, God, you are our Father. And that's one of the reasons why we're here. Because God is our Father. And then he went on to say, we are the clay and you are the potter. And we are all the work of your hands. And you know, girls and boys, God gave us life to our mothers and fathers. And we're going to live as long as God wants us to live in this world. And then at the end of our lives, he's going to call us home to heaven, where we're going to live forever. And I said that last night on the phone to one of our parishioners, her father is dying with cancer. And I said, He's getting ready to go home with Jesus. And after about 10 or 15 seconds, she said, Father, isn't that beautiful? And I said, Karen, that's the reality of our God. That's the reality of our faith. When we close our eyes, God comes and takes us home. He takes us home to our eternal home. And I thought of that when I was listening to the first reading. Girls and boys, this is Advent. And for us in the church, it's a new year. It's another gift from God. And in this season, we're preparing to celebrate something very special. What are we preparing to celebrate? Yeah. What are we getting ready for? Christmas. We're getting ready to celebrate Christmas, yes. And Hanukkah, too. That's right, good for you. <laughs> and, and there's a third one. Um, what is it that the other people celebrate? Thank you. Say it louder, Brian. Quanta. Yeah, I know it. I'm getting old and I forget, so thank you for helping me. So, but we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas. And you all know that Christmas is whose birthday? Jesus, right. And Christmas means Christ Mass. And that's what we celebrate every day. Not only on the weekend, but every day we celebrate Mass. Because Jesus came over 2,000 years ago. But you know, he's still with us. And even though we don't feel it, even though we don't hear him with our own ears or see him with our eyes, that's his promise. I will always be with you. And that's what we celebrate every time we come to Mass. When that reality touches us, it's amazing. And we're filled with gratitude and that Jesus loves us so much that he wants to be with us all the time. Now, we give gifts to those that we love at Christmas, right? Okay. But what gift did God the Father give us on that first Christmas? Who did he give us? Who was the gift that he gave us? Jesus, yeah. Where'd your little brother go? He's gone back to his... What a good big brother he is, taking care of the little guy. God the Father gave us the gift, not a thing, but his own son, Jesus. And so we give gifts to each other. But you know, girls and boys, those gifts are a sign of what? 
If I give somebody a gift, it says that I L O what? I love them. And that's what God did. That's why he gave us Jesus, to show us how much he loves us. That not just a present, but a person who is always with us. So God gave us Jesus because he loves us. And we give gifts to one another because we love one another. Now, I don't know, think about this. What is love? Maybe I should ask your parents. Would that be better? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to describe what love is. We know, yes. Love is when people really like each other. We can explain what love is more by what it does. When we love somebody, we're good to them. When we love somebody, we help them. When we love our parents, we do what they ask us to do, even though maybe we don't want to do it at that time. And so God loves us, and he expects us to love one another. Now, some of the signs and symbols of Christmas. The whole world gets decorated to celebrate Christmas. All over the world, there are Christmas trees, there are lights in the windows of people's homes, there are presents, and everything else like that. Because all over the world, everybody is celebrating the birth of Jesus. Okay, when you are in the car with your parents, or maybe your grandparents are driving you someplace, when you are in the car with them, and they see, and you see a red light, what does it mean? To step on the gas? Stop. It means stop. So the red light is a sign for us. It tells us something. Now, the candles that we have in church and the candles on our tree, the lights on our tree, the lights in the window, they symbolize Jesus. And Jesus is the light of the world. And he said, if you follow me, you will never walk in darkness again. Now, even if we're in a room and there are no lights on and it's dark, we just say to Jesus, Jesus, help me, walk with me. And he does. So he's a light for us all the time. And Jesus says, let your light shine. Let others see that the good that you do and thank God. And he says it to all of us, let your light shine. Let the light of Jesus that is in us shine so that others will see good. And not thank us, but thank God that he gives us the power to be good. Okay, now we have the nativity set. Did any of you notice coming into church that the nativity set is set up on the front lawn? After Mass, if you take a minute, look at it. And see all of the different statues that represent Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the kings and the animals and everyone else who was there when Jesus was born. And on Christmas Eve, it's going to be here in the sanctuary. And if you remember, take a minute just to come up and to look at it and to see all of those statues and what they mean. Okay, God put a star in the sky. And the star was put there to guide who? Who followed the star and they said they came and they found Jesus with his parents in the manger? Yes, sir. Who? No, God put the star there. But who was the star put in the sky for? What about the shepherds that were in the field? And all of a sudden, the angels came and said to them, I have something wonderful to tell you. And you almost won't believe it. But God became one of us. And he's a baby in Bethlehem. And go and follow the star, and you will find him. And then they said the same thing to the three wise men of the three kings. They were very, very smart. And they saw this star in the sky and it had been spoken of in in the scriptures. And so they followed the star, and they found Jesus. And they brought him gifts. 
Okay, so that's one of the reasons why maybe on the top of our tree we put either a star or an angel. Okay, Jesus is what Christmas is all about. Now we get tied up in advertising and buying this and we need that, we need this, and some of those things we need. And all of them are good, but it's so important to remember that Christmas and Advent in all year in our lives is all about Jesus. He's always with us. Now, what gift do all of us have that we really believe that Jesus is with us? It begins with F. Yes, honey. Faith. Good, I don't even have to spell it. Thank you. We have faith because we don't see Jesus, but we know he loves us and we know he's with us and we know he always helps us because of faith. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's our God who always loves us no matter what. He will never stop loving us, even if we do something wrong. All we have to do is tell him we're sorry. But even if we do something wrong, he doesn't stop loving us because that's who he is. He loves us forever and ever. Amen. Is that enough? I think so. This guy is yawning. <laughs> Am I putting you to sleep? Oh, good. I'm only teasing you. Okay, how about a nice hand for the girls and boys? Thank you, girls and boys. <laughs>